I've got another little project here that I've been at for about three weeks now. Again, good people. This is Jason, and we are here today in the high tunnel. A few days back, I tried an experiment where I took some commercial mycorrhizal inoculum. I put it in the bucket with some water and added another gallon of water that I boiled some corn in, in the hopes that maybe that cornstarch would feed the fungus and I would grow some mycelium in the bucket. Today, it's three days later, and I have. Mycelium growing in this bucket. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm going to try to get it up there where you can look in there. Mmm, smells kind of fruity. Well, that worked so well that I want to do it again and multiply this even more so I have more mycorrhizal inoculant to go out to my garden and onto my trees. So I've gone ahead and I have boiled up some more corn and this is now down below 80 degrees so I can get it in there but before I do that I want to filter it out and get rid of the the extra little bits and pieces of corn that are in there and so I brought along a little something to help me do that is another bucket. Ah, yeah. Strainer. A very strong person probably be able to pick that up with their left hand, but I'm not that strong, so I'm going to make do with my right, and just pour this through the strainer. I didn't want to get any, any of those chunks of corn that are in there. I'm just going to try to make this a liquid culture if I can. It's pretty impressive. That was just two handfuls of corn whenever I got started swelled up to that amount of size. Let's put this to the side and we will use that later on for some worm food. Okay, now I've got a bucket that I have strained. It contains about two gallons of starchy water. Before I use that, something else I want to show you because I've been holding out on you I've got another little project here 
that I've been at for about three weeks now. Inside of this bucket. You can see in there all that white stuff is mycelium but it's very special mycelium is from a mushroom called Strafaria rugosanulata or wine cap mushrooms and these guys love to eat wood chips and leaves and straw and a few other things the reason I put this rack up here is because I have holes in the bottom of this bucket and whenever I pour anything through here it's going to come in and get caught in this basin here and I don't want a big mess on the floor well after about two or three weeks of growing this mycelium I'm happy to report these guys are pinning they're trying to fruit but I think I can get a little bit more growth out of them before I spread them out in the garden so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the starch and feed it to these mycelium if it works as well for them as it did for the mycorrhizal mycelium then I'll be doing pretty good. So I'm just going to splash a little bit of this water in here. That really should be enough. It's dripping out through the bottom. I hope these mushrooms appreciate it. Take that extra nutrition and grow big and strong. And because while the mycelium are forming, they don't like a lot of light. I'll go ahead and put this back on here. Wine cap mushroom is kind of interesting. While the mycelium are growing, they're spreading out their hyphae. They're investigating their surroundings. They're gobbling up little bits and pieces of wood. And they like to do that whenever the temperature is high, around 80 degrees, 70 to 80, 90 degrees even. It's 90 degrees right now in the tunnel. And so, they should be very happy in here, just growing and expanding, and hopefully eating some of that cornstarch that I just put. Now this is another bucket started at the same time also it's full of full of mycelium full of hyphae if I look at the side of the bucket I can actually see I can actually see mycelium all through this bucket but I think I think it can grow a little bit more so I'm going to do the same thing position that bucket there We're going to feed it a little bit of cornstarch. <sighs> we'll let that drain a moment. Now looking down into this bucket, I can see the original grain spawn that it was grown on. There's a little bit of that grain still left in there. My thinking is, that mycelium likes growing on grain so much, it's going to love this. Just like with the other bucket, since the mycelium want to grow in the dark, accommodate them. So during the summer months, late spring and summer, wine cap mushroom will spread its mycelium underground gobbling up wood, leaves, straw, dead grass, whatever it can find. And then when the temperature falls in the autumn, or in the case of spring, early spring, It'll produce mushrooms. And 
now let's get these guys properly fed. Actually, I think what I want to do is see if I can get some of that some of that stuff off of there. Figure out where I put my strainer. Anybody see the strainer? Where'd it go? Strainer? Strainer? Oh, it's in here, isn't it? Okay. Same thing. I'll save that corn for later. It'll make really good worm food. And since it already has, since it already has mycelium in it, whenever those worms go out into the garden, they will be spreading that ectomycorrhizal fungi and that arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi that is in that inoculum. And well, that's about it for right now. Catch you next time.